Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture in Microsoft Word 2013. In this lecture we will look at some new items that we will discuss together today. Uh, we already finished some of the tabs in uh, Word 2013. We know how to access the backstage view by going to the file tab that takes us to the backstage view. Also we know how to access the home tab and access all of the commands we already finished all the groups and commands inside the home tab so guess which tab will we discuss today today we will discuss a tab that's called the insert tab so to get started with today's lecture I will go ahead and open Microsoft Word you can uh, click on start and then type word or you can click on start and then click on all programs and then go to Microsoft Office 2013 uh, folder this folder here and then click on Microsoft Word 2013 once you click on uh, open the application you should be able to open a blank document go ahead and click on a blank document and now we have the insert tab so today before I get started uh, let's say you are using older version. I don't want you to be left behind. We need to all work together. If you have 2010, if you have 2007, if you have 2013, we need to be all one team working on the same page. So to to cover that out, I will I make sure that I have both versions on my computer, and then I will click on start, and then I will type Word again. And once I type Word, you will see here that I have that application ready for me to open. I will go ahead and uh, let's drag this down here. I will make sure that I stretch it from both sides so I can see the commands for uh, so which one is 2010 and which one is 2013 okay uh, by just looking at the icon here look this is the word icon look at this one and look at this one so now you know which one is 2010 and which one is 2013 all right so now let's go ahead at the backstage view for 2000 and 13 right now let's go open 2010 and click on the file tab to open the backstage view and if you look here let's put them side by side so you can see the difference between word 2013 and word 2010 very similar almost almost the same almost the same all right Lock in, lock, did you, did you pay attention? Everyone. So now this is 2010 and this is 2013, Word 2013, Word 2010. So now let's click on the home tab. Let's go back, get out. Did you see that? In the file backstage view, to get out of the backstage view, you click on a different tab. But in 2013, you don't see the tabs visible to get out of the backstage view you need to click on the back button and that will exit the backstage view and take you to where will take you to the actual tab screen where you can see the ribbon all right looking at the home tab I have the clipboard group I have the font group almost identical almost same commands paragraph group almost identical right and then styles under the styles uh, home tab here let's go ahead and maximize and see what we have I have styles here and I can change the styles also in 2013 I have uh, okay so now look at 2013 to be able to uh, uh, use a, a style now it's different look at uh, let's compare them side by side one more time so for 2010 and 2013 look at quick styles look when I click at it I get access to the styles section when I click here I get access almost to the same exact thing look when I click on a change styles look wh what I can access so in 2010, Microsoft decided to take this out, but in 2000, 
uh, no, let's 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 put that clear. In 2010, Microsoft already has the change style, but in 2013, Microsoft decided to take it uh, out, as you can see here, right? Now it's visible to you. And editing, uh, editing is almost identical. Editing here, let's open editing here, almost identical. So now the only thing that we see the main difference between home tab in 2010. So which one is 2010? This one is 2010, this is 2013. So looking at the changes here, uh, Microsoft uh, has changed styles, right? But if I go to styles here, I can uh, choose create a style clear formatting apply style if i go to the quick style i can here save selection as new style i can apply style i can clear formatting so now you are looking at both of them side by side so let's go click on the insert tab click on the insert tab by looking at the insert tab here in both screens you will notice that pages same thing if i click here that's what I get in pages, cover page, blank page, page break. Pages, same thing, cover page, blank page, page break. So let's go ahead and click on uh, tables. So in tables, almost, almost the same thing. If I go to tables here and click on 2000, almost the same thing. So there is nothing to worry about. There is a group that's called illustrations. Under insert, tab, in 2013. And to, this is which one? Uh, okay, now I don't want you to get confused, all right? So this is 2010. Illustrations, illustrations here, you have almost the same thing, but instead of having, so let's look here, pictures, pictures, so this is pictures, and this is pictures. Online pictures, but here it's called clip art. So now you see that the name here is called clip art, all right? So going back here, instead of having clip art, they decide to put online pictures. Shapes, almost the same. Uh, smart arts, almost the same. Uh, charts, same thing. A screenshot, same thing. Look here, if I hover on each one of these, this is screenshots. This is a chart. This is smart art. This is the shapes. And instead of having clip art in 2013, here in 2010 I have clip art in 2013 and instead of having clip art they decided to uh, call it online uh, pictures online pictures why because basically you can access pictures online it's that simple okay now do you see in 2013 there is a section that says apps here if you click on it you will see some of the apps that you can have in 2010 you don't have this icon all right one more thing online videos in war 2013 you have something that's called online video but in 2010 you don't have such a thing all right so now you have links same thing links you have header footer text symbol header footer text symbol so major change for war 2013 having the apps for office and online videos as you can see uh, here and if i click on symbols in 2013 and then click on symbols in 2010 almost the same so let's get out of 2010 and focus on 2013 i will make sure that when i ask you to create some lab that i choose the commands that are available in both of them so you then you don't get confused but by watching the video you know what you are missing all right so let's look at the first command under the insert before i get started look at the names here insert design uh, page layout so microsoft decided to make it easier on us to categorize the tabs to the uh, actions that you uh, create or you uh, make in or you take inside your document right so let's say you need to uh, uh, change the page layout which tab do you go to page layout uh, do some commands or uh, do some uh, formatting that has to do with uh, let's say uh, references you go to the references tab mailing mailing tab review view and so on so let's go to the insert tab first thing uh, do you see this page here this is a blank page all right so what if i need to insert a cover page you go to the insert tab 
pages group and then click on cover page and you will have many pages that you can choose from if you click on one of them look at my page very nice format for like in no time again one more time if I need to uh, insert a different cover page I can insert a different uh, cover uh, page however if you look uh, down here I have the blank page still in place so now if I need to change the cover page for something else I can always change it and that will get updated automatically uh, what if I need to add a blank page I can do that too so now I will go ahead and undo what I just did and now I'll go back to the very beginning what if I need to insert a blank page you can click on a blank page here and now look at the number of pages I have two pages do you remember the control enter control enter will give you a page break you can also go to the insert tab and then insert a page break if you need to make sure that this is the case look it tells you to insert a page break you need to press on control enter so now we are done with the first group in the insert tab one down many to go so now let's see which group do we need to cover now under the insert tab I have the table tables group if I click on the tables group look uh, insert table look here these are the number of cells that you'd like to have inside your uh, table let's make sure that I undo everything I did here so I go back to the very first beginning of my documents again click on the insert tab first make sure it's open uh, please pay attention to the name of the tabs I have up here the last one is called view look when I go to the insert tab and then click on table and then have a table that is let's say 3 by 3 alright once I insert the table look what happened after the view the view tab I have two more tabs that has to do with the table tool these are the table tools the first tab is called design the second one is called layout look when I click outside of the table now I lose the tabs on top if I click inside the table I get the table tools design and layout please everyone make sure that you pay attention to this item because that's where you get confused in the future I will ask you uh, to change the table format by going to the layout tool where is the layout tool what is he talking about uh, no that there is something wrong no there is nothing wrong what you really need to do when I ask you to deal with the table, click inside the table and now you have the layout and the design uh, tab. So going back here, uh, I need to uh, start working with my table. Let's undo that. Now I don't have a table. Insert again and then click on table. So now you know how to insert a table. You choose the number of columns and the number of rows and then click at the last cell of your table and that will insert that table right or you can click on insert table and then specify how many columns and how many uh, rows do you have and click ok and that will insert the table undo so now we know how to insert a table from many uh, places or many places right go to the insert tab and then click on table what is the row table what is that uh oh I got a pencil or a pen if I do that I get a cell well if I do that again I get another cell oh that's nice let's split this cell let's split this cell oh I didn't know that let's make a cell up here let's divide this cell Oh, so I can make up my own table. That is neat. All right. So now this is a table and I have what? I have the drawing tool. If I click on draw again, now I lose my drawing tool and I can start working with my table. In the first cell, if I need to go to the second cell, I press tab, 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 and that will keep going from one cell to another cell. What if you are in the last cell and then press tab again? Look what happens. It inserts a new row, a new row. So tab, what if I need to go back? Shift tab, shift tab will take you back in the opposite direction so now you know how to insert a table look at this icon here this will select the entire table so if you select the entire table and then press delete on the keyboard nothing happened why because you don't have any text look when you have some text and then select your entire table and press delete on the keyboard that deletes 
the contents of your table but it doesn't delete the table how do you delete the table to delete the table you need to select the entire table all right and then go to the layout layout tab and then click on delete and then it choose delete table that will delete the table one more time are you ready to learn more Hey, that is wonderful. Let's learn more about this topic. Go to the insert tab and then click on the table uh, command. Uh, the table uh, command is under the tables group. So table and then I have uh, Excel spreadsheet. We did not uh, talk about Excel yet, but if you click on Excel spreadsheet that will insert Excel spreadsheet inside your Word document. Right? Undo that. And then uh, remove the undo control Z to undo by the way or you can click on undo or redo and that will do the same thing control Z to undo control Y to redo you don't have to memorize if you hover on it it will tell you control Y and this one is control Z so now tables one more time I need you to insert a quick table where to go so let's let's just stop here I need you to insert which tab do you go to do you go to the view tab? No. I go to the insert tab. Yes, that is correct. So in the insert tab, I click on tables or table and then click on what if I need to insert a quick table? Look at that. Uh oh, I can create a table very quickly. Let's undo that. Now let's go to the insert tab, create on table and then click on quick tables look when I scroll down I can uh, choose any table that is already created for me what if I need to blank out or delete the contents of that table let's select the entire table go to the layout and then let's look at erase alright do you see what happened? okay edit that if this is confusing take, click on erase again and what if I need to delete something? Delete columns, for example. Do you see what is happening? What if I need to delete the contents? Select and then press delete on the keyboard and that will delete the contents. Control Z to undo everything. Now, I need you to insert. Which tab do you go to? That's how I need you to work with Microsoft Word. Don't memorize anything. Just understand. I need you to insert. Which tab do you go to? Insert tab. I need to insert a table. Which group do you look for? Do you group? Uh, do you look in the media group? No, I need you to insert a table. So you go to the tables group and then click on table. Now, let's look at this table here. Uh, I will insert a table three by three, and then I will put here name, or let's uh, first name, and then uh, last name, and then uh, here email address. Once I press tab, look how I move tab, right? And then here the first name is John, and then the last name is William, and then the email address uh, x y z at email dot com, right? Press tab again, that will give me a new place. Okay, now uh, review. Quick question: I have a hyperlink here. How do I delete this hyperlink? Anyone? If you click at the end of the hyperlink and press backspace that will delete the hyperlink okay undo control z i need you to delete the hyperlink using a different way right click on the actual hyperlink and then choose remove hyperlink same thing okay undo what if i need you to uh, insert a hyperlink no that's not the topic of uh, uh, discussion now we are talking about tables so let's be precise and finish what we started all right so now we have our table here in our table uh, uh, let's say I would like to go all the way here and then make this table a total or this row a total row right you don't see a, a major difference because I did not I did not do what I did not change the actual format right so now if I click here and then it choose total row look at look this this see what is happening so now you know how to uh, uh, change we'll look at the header row you can uh, decide here what happens with your uh, table all right everyone are we good yes we are very good we are learning 
we are uh, learning. So going back here to the design view, I can uh, select here and on a check and on a check and that will give me different ways but you need to apply a table style first if you click on the down arrow look at how many style can you apply i will leave that up to you but for reference if you need to find a name of each style you just hover on it and then that will give you the sign name so when i ask you for a specific style name make sure that you hover on it and that will give you the uh, name you can also modify table style or you can clear or you can create a new style but we don't have to create our own style because the styles that are here are plenty enough let's say you need to uh, apply plain you can apply plain or you can go to the home uh, tab and let's say you'd like to remove the entire format you can remove the entire format if you have format or you can go to the uh, actual uh, 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 no not insert now now i have a table and i need to change the design so you go to the design here and then make sure that you change the table based on what you see uh, in front of you here okay now any questions everyone uh, are we good at this point so now you know how to change the table style you know how to uh, apply different table style options all right so we are done with the, this group we are done with the table styles group let's look when i go to shading here look at that look at that this is what you can do okay again if i ask you for a specific color you need to hover just wait for a minute and then it will you will uh, word will give you the uh, name of that color uh, border style look when you go to a different border style you can look what the, what is happening look i can paint border and look what is activated paint border is activated so now i can paint my own border border style let's now i need to have something cool like that okay look look at that i can have my own border look at me look at me what uh, this is what i can do this is what you can do all right but this might be uh, like uh, time consuming so instead of doing that i would rather to uh, use a predefined style uh, from here all right but you need to make sure that you inactivate the border uh, painter and choose one of these and that is much easier uh, to follow so now going back here design are we done with the table styles options yes we are uh, table styles yes we are shading yeah, that is fun that's easy uh, no color more colors and so on border style and the width of your border look what you can do you can even look at that look at that look at the border you can have a big brush to paint your border and you can also if i inactivate this one if i inactivate this one here i can go here and choose that i don't have any style to my table so now we are done with the first two borders here look when you click on the lunch box here that will take you where do you remember the border yes you can have border for the table page border shading all right so now i don't want you to get stuck ever you need to work on your own at the worst case scenario let's say i did not mention something and you are looking at the application wondering how can i do that i need someone to tell me where where do you go you click on the question mark and then type here uh, let's say i don't know how to use the border painter so i will type here border border what a uh, painter that's how you do it and then search and then find the help for a uh, border painter it tells you here how to do it and it explains each step one by one you are a professional so you don't have to wait for someone to teach you every single item you need to start doing things on your own right so now i am done with the design and i will go to the layout once i go to the layout i can click on the properties of my table and once i click on the properties of my table i will cover that in more details but let's first look at what we can do here uh, again if i need to delete a specific uh, uh, row or cell i can go to uh, delete here uh, delete cell and that will delete the cell look when i click yes it will shift and now i missed i'm lose i lost one cell okay undo that 
do you see this box here? Do you see this box? If you click on it, you can stretch your table. Look what ha what's happening. You can stretch your table. So now you know how to stretch your table, right? You know how to select the entire table. Okay, now uh, select and then select cell, select column, select table, right? Same thing. If I click here, so now you know how to select. You know how to view the grid layout. You know how to look at the properties. Now let's look at table. This is for the way that your table shows uh, when you have text and table look text wrapping you can uh, make the text appear around your table around or none do you see the difference do you see the difference look at the left center and right right so let's choose center and around and then click ok and now i will make this uh, like that and let's have some text equals or a NED, open close parentheses and then press enter look what is happening here <laughs> isn't that isn't it nice now let's go ahead and uh, drag our table maybe in the middle look at that now you can do anything you want if I don't like the way that my table appears and I don't like the text to be showing up left right bottom of my table I go where design do I see it no I don't so I go back immediately to layout right layout and then under layout i have what i have to go to properties and then under properties i need to choose none and then make it left and then click ok look what is happening so now you know how to do things right if you need to draw it maybe you need to make this cell here to split it you can split it right you can draw in it are we good on this one Alright, so now let's undo that, all of it, undo, 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 control Z, control Z, oh, I'm all the way back, control Z again, and then escape, now I don't have anything, okay, escape to get out of the uh, uh, table uh, painter, and then go to insert, and then I need you to insert a table that is two, just two by two, alright, and then I have a name, and then here, email uh, address, if I am done with the design, let's go to layout, let's say I have name and address look when I select my table I can choose uh, insert above if I have two selected it will uh, insert two if I have only one insert below do you see what is happening okay now if I select all of them and then insert below do you see what is happening insert left insert right okay it's self-explanatory you just look and pay attention to what is happening let's say I would like to uh, split this cell so split cells and then to okay look what is happening or if you would like to split it yourself manually using the draw you can okay here it draws so now I have a big border how do I uh, change that so I will go to uh, design and then go to uh, border here make sure my border color is black right now I will try to do it one more time do you see do you see what is happening all right and now I know how to insert or you can uh, use for example if I uh, look if you have the painter and you need to get out of it you can either go to the design click on the painter border painter again or you can press escape that will uh, get out of any selected uh, function all right if I click this column and then right click on the selection again look when I go on top of the column look when I go inside look at the cursor when I go on top of it I can select the entire column what if I need to select a row click on the actual row and that will select uh, the row all right so now let's go ahead and continue working on uh, some other features all right so let's go ahead and delete this table one more time so if i click select the table how do i delete this table press delete on the keyboard the, the, it did not delete the table any guess anyone can help me where do i need to go should i click outside the table now where is the design and layout tab well where do I need to, first I need to click inside the table right 
and now once I click on the inside the table Microsoft is smart enough to know that I need the tools for the table so I will see the design tab and the layout tab now I need to select the table go to the layout tab and then I choose delete table now I need someone to insert a table go to the insert tab table 2 by 2 and then uh, name and then uh, uh, I will put the email I need someone to change the design of this table that's easy under, under, under design self-explanatory again if I go to the layout you know how to use the split how to use the split table now let's look at auto fit auto fit content nice right now what if I need to center this table look when I select the table under alignments it's not centering it so this is the alignment of what the alignment of the let's make it bigger so you can see exactly what is happening here now let's put test right now I will select it go to alignment see what is happening whoa 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 I can do that with my table yes you can look when you click on text look at that isn't it nice it is very nice now what if I click auto fit auto fit contents now let's look at the size of these cells I need to fix that you can fix it by going to the ruler and then go to the uh, the edge that separates the two rows here and then drag it up or down to auto adjust or you can go to the cell size here and you can up, uh, change the height as you wish or let's say I have many rows and they are not from the same size and the columns same thing look when I click on distribute rows look when I click for columns I can even do it manually I can go to the line that separates both of them or if I think this is difficult I can go to the ruler itself look what I can do so now you know how to change the width and the height for your uh, table as you can see also you know that you can change the entire table from this small box clear so now you know you know how to use auto fit window auto fit content fixed column width right any any question so what if I know how to use this I know how to use the alignment what about cell margin this is the margin in the cell itself so this cell has a margin up bottom left right you can change that by going to cell margin and you can change that as you can see here right if you wish you can do that uh, you can also sort as we did before you can uh, let's say I have some text here uh, test 2 uh, test 3 I, what if I need to convert the text in this table to text without the table do you see what you get okay undo that and now go to layout you can even add some uh, formulas but we will leave formulas uh, when we get to our uh, Excel right because we need to spend uh, more time on formulas once we get to Excel so are we done with design yes we are are we done with layout yes we are so uh, where do we need to go from now delete select the table go to layout delete delete table now insert we are two down many many to go what if I click on pictures right so I will insert a picture here insert now I have a nice 
a picture in my Word document and what do I need to do? Guess what happened? I have picture tools and I have the format tab open. If I click outside the picture, the picture disappear. If I click on the picture again, I have my picture format tool. Look when I go to remove backgrounds. You, uh, because the background in this picture, look, look what you can do. If I click accept changes, look what happened. You can control Z, get everything back. So you can apply professional settings. You can keep the changes, discharge, delete mark, or mark area to remove. You can even manually mark it. So if you go here, and then let's say I would like to mark this area to remove, I can mark it uh, as well. Once I accept, I click accept. Let's say I would like to mark this section, and then click on accept. Do you see what is happening? Control Z to go back to the original uh, picture format. Control Y. Okay, I think I did it many times. Here you go. All right, are we good? So let's uh, select the picture. Control X to cut. Control X to cut. Now let's have some text. Equals R A N D. Open close parentheses. Now let's click at the end of the first paragraph and then have a new line and insert or paste it. You can paste it by going to the Clipboard, do you remember? Click on the image, now we have the image. What if I need, I need to change the uh, size of this image? Look what you can do. Do you see the knobs at the corners of this image? You can drag in and out to change the size. You can rotate it by clicking on this rounded arrow. You can rotate it any to any direction that you wish to, alright? Now go to the format tab. I have correction. Look what you can do with correction. Very nice. I will leave that totally up to you. Okay, now, what if I need to change color? You can make it black and white. Look at that. Fix it back to its original location. What if I click on compress picture? So if I need to change to make this picture smaller, before I do that, let's close the clipboard panel so I have more room. Compress picture, and now I click OK. That will make the size of the image smaller. All right? Do you see text around this image? No, I don't. Why? Look at this small uh, box. It says layout option. Look when I click on square tight, through, in front of text, behind text. Look when I do that. Look what's happening. Do you see? So you can use that to, look, 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 you can have it even as a background. All right? So let's choose a square. And now let's go to, what is that? Reset picture. So that resets the picture to its original. Oh, look at that. I can, even if I messed up the image, I can change the settings to display the image in its, look, look when I move the image, because I used square. Again, you do it from here, or you can click on text wrap, same thing. Do you see the same exact shape, text wrap? Please make sure everyone that you practice and you apply based on the question or based on your uh, a choice you can so now we are done with color artistic look at the artistic effect this is nice look what I can do do you see that do you see do you see this one very nice texture in my image do you see this one here look look very nice look at that 
Uh, now let's uh, apply. So are we done with adjust? Yes. Picture style. Look at what we have in picture style. Look what I can do. Oh, that is nice. Look at look at this one. This is even better. Oh, look at this one. Or this one. Now you can spend the whole night working on uh, pictures inside your uh, document. So this is very nice documents that I created in almost no time. Right? Let's say I need to change the size of this image to be 2x2. Two two. Look when I put 2 here. This is the size. Okay, so now we jumped from the picture styles. All the, Let's make sure here these are all of the choices. I jump to the size. If I click on this uh, launch box, uh, if I click on size, I have 3.4. What if I come here and then uh, type 2 on the keyboard and then press enter? It did not change this one. If I put 2 here, press enter, no, now it made it 2 by 2. So what if I undo what I just did and then click on this launch box and click on lock aspect ratio and then it changed this to 2 and then go to the width. Do you see what happened? Okay, I will cancel. I will do it one more time without choosing the lock aspect ratio. I will uh, 2 here. Now when I click here, nothing happened. Why? Because I did not lock aspect ratio. If I choose it, and then I can go back to here and if I press 2 that will uh, make sure that the height and the width both from the same time so if for some reason they are not matching especially in 2010 we are working in 2000 or 2013 in 2010 usually you have to pay attention to the lock aspect uh, ratio right you can even change the text wrapping from here. Also, you can change the position uh, from here. So, looking back at our image, uh, picture border. Look what you can do. You can even change the weight of the border so you can see it. Look, look. Even more lines, dashes. You can even apply a dash around it right you can apply effect preset look at that nice shadow you can apply shadow to your image look as I hover on each shadow a reflection look at the reflection do you see it a glow this is good one look at the glow I can even make it glow and glow and glow so look at this one here very beautiful very beautiful now I click on the image I need the border to go away so I will choose here no border no outline much better much better so now click on the image and then go to format I'm done with this section position look when I position it you can position it any place inside the sheet that you have right now okay text wrap I already explained that before you can move it any place of your choice as you can see here uh, bring forward bring behind and selection pane this is usually if you have multiple objects and you would like to uh, make one to appear in front of the other or uh, behind the other uh, object uh, let's say here this is if you have multiple objects and you would like to align them you can uh, choose to align them uh, left align center align but you have to choose uh, multiple objects together or if you are using only one image it applies it to uh, one specific image so this is for alignment as you can see here uh, top alignment and so on uh, you can uh, rotate the image but I prefer to use the rotate uh, feature on top of the image itself. Okay, now let's uh, let's say I would like to take only one person out of this image. So if I click on crop, or do you know what? Let's undo that. Control Z, make it bigger again by dragging the edges out. Look when I click on the down arrow beside crop, crop to shape. And then I can choose 
art. Look at that. Isn't, isn't it nice? It is very nice. Or I can undo that and then go to uh, down, on the down arrow and then I can click on crop to shape again and I can choose any shape of my uh, choice. I can even fill with an image. I can make it uh, fit. I can apply the aspect ratio as well. So this is something. What if I need to change? Look when I... Uh, Okay, undo that. Let's do it one more time. Undo that. Here, what if I click crop now? Okay, now if I crop in, crop in again, and then click on crop itself, look what happens. You can get only one section of the image as you have seen. So that's how to use uh, crop, right? you can change the shape height based on the size here and you can change the width as well so are we done with the uh, picture yes we are so what we have for uh, insert you can insert online pictures so if i go to online pictures let's say you need to uh, search for a printer or a flower or computer you can double click on the image look what happens again this is an image now you can do the same thing I did with this image so let's delete this image now I have another image here and I can start working with this image as well so let's again go to the insert we are done with online pictures shapes you can add any shapes let's say I have uh, two images here one image here and one image here let's make the text alignment to be box as well and the text alignment to be box let's say I would like to uh, add a shape between these two images I can have uh, let's say let's look at this arrow look when I start from here and then point all the way to this image I can create arrows I can even insert uh, shapes of my choice here let's say I need to have a smiley face you can have a nice smiley face and once you have your smiley face you get the format for your shapes you can apply different shapes as you see here you can change the color fill color right you can change the shape uh, outline you can change the text effect same thing we did with the image before you can change the shapes uh, glow and so on look at what I can do here in no time right if I go to format right and then click on this image here and then uh, have it up here I can press control if I press control I can select multiple objects together right and I can go to drawing tool format this is for the drawing tool and format for uh, the image right so now let's say I have two images here and I will click on uh, format look when I look at that do you see what is happening they have to be from the same time that's why from the same type that's why when I did it from with two different objects it didn't work right but if I have this image and this image here look look at the difference do you see do you see what is happening bring forward bring backward so now you can even have two images side by side and put one on top of the other right and you can even have a shape somewhere and you are a professional now so going back to the uh, insert I did insert a shape now let's look at smart art if I go to smart art let's say I have I need to insert a, a, a smart art like that uh, one and then the text the second text is two uh, third one let's make it uh, three 
Okay, that's enough. I will leave the rest so you can uh, do it yourself. Look when I uh, click on design and format. So I have uh, different tools for smart art. I can uh, change the layout to have a different layout than the one that you see right now. I can change the color. Look at what I can do. I can change the color. I can change the smart art style. Look at the difference now. Isn't that better? Much better. So this is exactly, this is what you can do. Reset graphic, this will uh, reset it to its original uh, format. All right? You can even add shape from here. All right? Do you see? Every time I add, it adds a new box. But I can press Ctrl Z to uh, get the original one. Or I can click on reset and that will reset the actual uh, smart art. So you know what is a smart art. If I go to format, I can change the text effect. Look, I can change the text effect. If I select all of them, I selected only one. That's why it applies to one. I can change color, uh, layout, and I can change the uh, shape. Uh, also, if I choose my smart art here, I can change even the smart art effect. As you can see here, the smart, the shape style. I can use a different uh, shape. I can make it larger. I can change the shape. I can make it smaller, and so on. Uh, even if, especially if you have an image, you can load an image from somewhere. You, you can do that from uh, online or from your computer. You can arrange as well. Change the text wrap. Change the position. Same thing we did. We did with the image, and you can also change uh, the size. So we are done with format. We are done with uh, design, All right? So we ran over that quickly because uh, there are many, many, many. Look at that. If I go even to more layout, a eh, look at what. If I spend like maybe three more hours, I will not stop talking about it. So that's why I'm just go, going over it quickly, and I hope you understand why. Because we are limited with a specific curriculum that we need to cover. That's why I need you to. Navigate on your own. Just go learn and insert some shapes and then uh, click on format, click on design and if you get stuck, click on help and the application will help you. Alright, so let's go back here. I need to uh, go to a blank document so I can do something else. Going back to insert, we're done with, uh, let's look at charts. Look when I click on uh, clustered chart here, you can uh, choose we will cover that more in Excel. So charts, we will cover them in Excel. But for now, let's insert a quick chart here. Look, when I insert a chart, it will insert a chart with default data that I can use. I can even change that, but we will not spend time covering a chart here because in Excel, we will have a complete lecture on charts. So undo that and then go to the Insert tab one more time. I have a shapes, smart art, screenshot. Look when I click on screenshot, usually you have to have uh, another uh, document uh, open or another window. If I go to screenshot here, you can snip using the clipping here and I can take, for example, this uh, section and look what happened. Isn't, that, isn't it nice? It is very nice. So again, I can go back here. Let's say I have many uh, window open. I have uh, PowerPoint 2010. And then I go back here, open uh, uh, Chrome. I will go to the insert, screenshot lock. Any open window, you will see it. So you can have a screenshot to this open window immediately. Are we good? So going to a new line, go to the insert uh, tab again. Uh, you can insert app for office. So now let's say you would like to insert an app. You can click on apps for office. You can, let's say, see all and then feature apps, for example. Let's say you would like to uh, have uh, an app for the dictionary to be available for you. So insert. 
look what happens you get the entire dictionary from Microsoft website direct in here and you can even uh, search for a translation for any word of your choice if you are done you close here and that will uh, close the actual dictionary app if you click here and then click on online video look what I can do I will search for in Maksud for example and then press enter and I can have one of the video lectures that we insert look at what I what I can have inside my documents so if you click on play it will start playing this uh, video so going back here and go to insert so by looking here we finished half the insert tab uh, the second half I would rather to do it in a lecture by itself because we cover too much today and uh, I don't want you to uh, get lost so let's stop at this point and we will continue uh, the second half when we come back but before I uh, end the lecture for today in the insert tab we covered the cover page blank page page break table picture online pictures uh, shapes smart art uh, a chart a screenshot apps for office online video when we come back we will start and finish the second half of the insert a tab I think the reason we 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 spend uh, more time in this section because of the special tabs that opens when you insert a table when you insert an image and so on thank you everyone and I will see you in the future